Hello and welcome back to the Minetrack.net game server. Currently sitting on top of the Defiant. Um, my announcement that she was complete was way premature. <laughs> um, what I should have said was she's complete ready for fit and finish because uh, that has been what M. Heller and Mad Squirrel have been doing for over a week now. Fit and finish polish work on the Defiant. You take a good long look at her, she is an absolutely stunning looking ship. I mean, I can remember when we first started this, and I was over here and I just cleaned the hall because I was bored one day. And then I panicked and said, hey, you gotta take a look at this uh, Ajax build that this guy's working on. And I went over there and it was, it just blew me away. I mean, I was just utterly amazed by uh, Mad Squirrel's talent. And, uh, so, uh, when the opportunity came up to start working on the Defiant, it's like, hey man, would you be interested in working on the Defiant? I said, sure, I will. Uh, in fact, I'd enjoy working on it. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and got the deck plans, uh, the revised deck plans, and upscaled them, and converted them for use with uh, the 3D hull that we have here. Um, I ran into a lot of roadblocks, a lot of headaches. Uh, trying to get that done, uh, technical stuff mainly. Um, I panic and Mad Squirrel and M. Heller and the bomb uh, worked with me, and we were able to uh, get the basic um, deck plans laid out. And from there, we were able to work on and get the uh, modified deck plans done. So that's for the extra areas of the ship that are. Uh, the ship has um, a lot more room in it than it looks, and it has to be. Uh, shoot into areas and worked around and things have to be tweaked and fixed and um, all that nifty stuff but yeah you can see I mean from our last video to this video look at the detailing placed into this hull it's absolutely beautiful simply one of the best looking ships in Minecraft Star Trek wise I mean this surpasses pretty much everything we've done so far both interior and exterior this ship is just utterly packed with detail. And I do mean a lot of detail. Gosh darn, I really, really, really would like to find out why it is. When I start recording, I can't get my mouse to uh, to be smooth as it should be. And I tried again with the camera studio mod and it just didn't want to work for me, so I gave up on it. But yeah, yeah, she is absolutely a beautiful looking ship with a complete interior, no less. Um, M. Heller went through and filled in a lot more of the uh, areas, gave them a lot more detail uh, than even what uh, Mad and I had put in there. Um, he went back through and uh, did his uh, M. Heller thing, which means to say that uh, put in a lot, a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of effort to uh, make sure that it, it was just perfect. And again, just look at this hall. Look at the highlights and the depth that you get from this, and this is a, you know, of course, Minecraft, but, I mean, this thing from a distance looks picture perfect to the Defiant. It's, it's amazing. And, um, if this was an all back, excuse me, all black background, um, you could really see it. It would really stand out from the lettering and everything else, just, just the minute details. And, as you all know, we love to put the details into these builds, so... As we get new blocks, we probably go through and revise some of these some of these builds and things like that. So, but yeah, I'll show you. Oops, come on. Here we go. Uh, here we are on the bridge. Make sure the camera brights off. Of course, you know this will probably even be reworked once we get more access to more blocks. But I went through this thing deck by deck the other day and just took my time and looked at it. And I tried to record it, but unfortunately. Um, yeah, it was just not one of those days that uh, recording was possible for me. Um, as you can see now, I, I've got like a 7 to 8 second mouse delay. So I can kind of talk to somebody on the moon. It's kind of having to anticipate when I need to turn my mouse in order to uh, facilitate the, uh, the turns here. But um, yeah, there are some things that were a little odd with the, with the deck plants, like this really long turbo lift that kind of wraps around the front of the ship to the front of the ship. None of us really understood why this was here. Um, it didn't really make any sense to us, but it's in the deck plan, so of course it's on, it's, it's on the build. It's in the build. But, um, 
Yeah. Ooh, check this out. Forgot that uh, some of that detail's been done. Uh, a lot of the lab work has been filled in here. It's been the last time we were in here. You can see somebody went through and just put a ton more detail in this. Filled out a lot more stuff. Probably in Heller and Mad Squirrel, of course. Give it a lot more stuff to put in here. See if they hid the bathrooms. Yep, bathrooms are all got the water in the sink and everything. Really, really proud of this. Uh, I, every one of us that worked on this, I think, is exceptionally proud of how it turned out. I mean, it just it really surprised us that um, just from an empty hall we could, you know, and limited sized deck plants we could pull this off, and pulled it off. We did and quite well. A little transporter room, a little add-ons. You know, looks really nice through here. Working our way to the hangar bay, because that's uh, that's the area that that uh, I think they really spent some time working on. Looks like we're just going to have to come over here and find our way down. But um, beforehand, all this area here was a little little rough, and um, they worked on it for quite a while. Now they got uh, two shuttles ports to shoot into here. They've got um, cargo sleds with cargo, uh, both sides. They've got uh, these little chaffy shuttles, or whatever you want to call them in here. Of course, they also have the shuttles and the work bees down below. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, and, um, yeah, cool. Oh, darn it. Um, I think this is one of those things Mad added. One of those little uh, ladder things. It just, you know, it's just like it seemed like it needed to be there, I guess, and so he went and did it, and, it, you know, what can I say? Uh, glad he did. It's it's one of those things that just definitely needed to be there. Because it's kind of dumb that you have to walk all the way around to the, to the uh, turbo lift and when you're right there. So we got a little flight control room. This is the deck that we actually added. This is not in the deck plants. This is our deck. So, because we actually had the room. We have ourselves our little uh, EVA locker suit and of course the exit hatch. And here are the work bees. Two more shuttles and four work bees total. Our little lift area. So, yeah, it's. Um, I like that. That is actually a very smart thing to do there. And this is too right here. Another another really smart thing to do. It just you just uh, you learn as you go, and you know it's detail like this that you don't see in a lot of the builds. And it's just like, oh well. You know, and I can go through an area four or five times and think that's done. And then you got somebody like Matt will come through and go, oh, no, no, there's so much more we can do. And he'll get in here and he'll work. And then M. Heller will come over and say, oh, yeah, we can do even more. And then I'll come back in and say, oh, yeah, I know some areas that could be fixed. And it just, it's a, it's a never ending cycle. Um, I found, actually found two areas of the ship that um, um, were hard to get to and were large areas that didn't have anything in them. And now those areas have stuff in them. Albeit, to get to them, you have to go through an engineering corridor, or Jeffrey's tube, excuse me. But um, they're they're used. They're all utilized. So, and the uh, this uh, when I mirrored, this was an actual mirror of the other side of the ship. This is the stuff that Mad did. I showed it in the last video. Came through and he put the uh, holding cells in. Pretty darn cool holding cell. Yeah, you know, if, if you have to, you just take the whole cell. You know, you don't have to worry about beaming them out. You know, if you want to try and stop us from beaming you out, well, we'll just take the whole cell. So, and then of course, uh, we're at the shuttle bay pressurization room. I'm gonna borrow some of these right here and use them in the Voyager build. And why reinvent the wheel? Um, of course, this is light support or part of light support. It's uh, kind of showing how the air gets filtrated and waste gets reprocessed and stuff. Kind of a neat layout. I really, really like, or really, really, really am um, happy with how this room came out. Um, such a large room, so we had really had to come up with a smart way to use it. And doing it with the roof and the detailing and the highlights like that really gave it a uh, nice sense of depth and um, feel. And of course, when you're on the Voyager, excuse me, the Defiant, you don't feel like it has a lot of room because it's such a small ship, but when you get on here, you realize you got you know these nice tall rooms and these you know wide corridors and uh, you know it's a very comfortable ship, very cozy ship to be on. Granted, it's no Constitution class, but 
overall, the interior layout and design of this ship is, you know, uh, well done, except for that turbo lift, uh, you know, design. But I'm sure the um, the deck plan guy had his ideas for why he wanted that. Um, I think it was Sidonia, and before that, it was Strategic Design that did that. So, but look at this. This is another really cool thing that Mad did. Had these little things here come up, and then you know, for getting in and stuff, and you know, kind of really cool idea. <laughs> Where did they come up with these little cargo storage things? This is really, really a cool idea. Now, this is something else we're going to have to borrow for the Voyager, of course. Uh, speaking of the Voyager, in the last video showed that M had separated it into its um, independent deck layers. So we're slowly going through her, um, pulling her in, much like we did with the uh, Defiant here. But uh, with the Defiant, since she was a smaller ship, um, she didn't have to be split like that or slice stuff like that, so um, we were able to uh, pretty much do it, um, you know, the conventional way instead of the new new system way that we're doing it, so. Um, but the larger builds definitely have to split them up and look at them, you know, independent deck-wise in order to uh, get all the detail you want to get in there. But, um, you know, what can I tell you? <laughs> uh, Voyager is a different ship. So it requires different techniques, and the Defiant here is uh, was a very odd because of the shape of the hull had a lot of very odd things that had to be overcome, um, and we did it. I mean, look at this. I mean, the detail down here. I mean, this when I saw this, I was like, it really just sells this area. Um, the way M said that M but uh, Magic World set this all up, you know, and you got little hatches and everything has access you don't have to just fly around if you have you know if you have to walk you can use cargo bays and things like that and come down in here and you got this area here and you know I'm gonna be honest with you I've never been in here <laughs> um, I think this is the starboard torpedo bay area of the ship and oh it's the upper part excuse me I have been here um, wow, it's been a long time since I've seen this area. Kind of forgot what it looked like. <laughs> Threw me for a loop. I, I gotta say, I kind of got taken here. This is, uh, this has been renovated. Um, yeah, it's been renovated. Uh, it's been cleaned up. It's not so, uh, clustered up. It's very nicely done. Um, I'm curious. I don't know if I did this or who did this, but it has a lot more. Uh, it has a better flow to it, in my opinion. It's a lot more roomier. Looks a lot better. Uh, you don't have rows and rows of torpedoes getting in the way. You can walk around. Um, but yeah, it threw me. I don't. Re I didn't recognize this area. So now I'm really curious to see what the other side looks like. Let's take a look. Maybe. Uh, maybe it is something I did. Maybe I didn't do it. Um, hmm. That's odd. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we ought to have a way down there. There it is. Always thinking ahead. And we got the nice little crossover corridor here. This really came out well. This is one of the um, when I was doing the deck plans, I was like, yeah, we got to make sure this is in. And I don't, I I, I was really frustrated because I couldn't see how we could do it, but um, I panic and Mad Squirrel pulled this off. So they did very well. Yeah, yeah, check it out. It's all been cleaned up through here. Looks really good. Um, very nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm used to working on this side of the ship, not that side. So when I came out here, yeah, I did all this. Okay. <laughs> now I recognize it. I recognize it from this angle, and I didn't recognize it from that angle. So yeah, this is uh, when I revamped, it, revamped all the um, the uh, nacelle access here. So, but this stuff like this, that's not me. This is M. Heller stuff, or Mad Squirrel details. But yeah, you know, we did. We even added an extra landing gear right here. Um, of course, the phaser's in with its power relays and taps and all that nifty stuff. And ooh, lots of cool stuff down here. Ooh, this is new. Oh, I wonder who put um, M probably put this in. That's pretty cool. I'm glad he did that. That's nice use of space right there. Very nifty. Very, very nifty. And again, look at this. I mean, look at all this this flooring and stuff. It's just not bare stone. And my 
cat just brought me a dead bird. Excuse me for a moment. Sorry about that. I could edit that out, but it only took me a second to uh, toss it in the trash, which it will shortly go outside here. Um, this is the thing you have when you have cats that have a cat door. They like to bring you presents in the middle of the night. Um, anywho, it kind of caught me for a loop there. <laughs> I'm going to say I have cool cats. Um, yeah. Looks, oh, I wanted to see if them actually did anything with these rooms up here. Uh, whoop, and then one more gecko. Gosh darn it, the leg's back. Um, it's got to be a latency issue with, with the way lighting is done. Maybe if I turn on Gamma Bright, that might uh, absorb some of the shadows. Not sure what caused it. I, I know it has to relate to the way Minecraft uses the... Uh, uh, it's it's Minecraft related. It's not server related or system related. So, but this is a, a fab area for whatever we want to use it for. Mostly torpedoes. Got this little crawl space back here. Uh, matter anti or matter organic and organic storage. Yeah, I wondered if my uh, backup software might be doing this too. Also, I went through here and I cleaned up this area, made it a little bit more functional. This is all landing gear. This is the pressurization tank that pressurizes the landing gear. So as the ship lands, this thing pushes all of it. It's like a hydraulic system. So that's what that is. Uh, JTX remusclar. We also revamped this area. Um, it, last time you had to come in here, and there was like a little stairwell, and it just it didn't it just didn't flow for me. I really didn't like the way it it, it handled, um, the way it felt. So I decided to uh, change it up a little bit. And this area was just not used for anything, and to me, it, it would have to be used on the ship for something. So I figured just a little service service area. Uh, you know, and then down here used to be stairs to come down into this deck. And I can't see why this, I mean, this is where most of the water storage is, or whatever you want to call it. So I couldn't see any reason to, um, to uh, you know, have stairs down there when it's never going to really be used except by engineering. Or specific crew quarters. Oh yeah, the cool he did. He turned them into VIP quarters. Very cool. Very very cool. Uh, no comment. Um, very cool. Very very cool. Uh, what else we got down here? Ooh, you VIP diplomatic quarters. Even little tighter quarters. Um, cozy. Very very cozy indeed. Even got a personal replicator. No comment. Um, yeah, and this is like bulk H2O monitors. We're directly above the um, the H2O tanks, so this is where it would monitor all that. Uh, miscellaneous storage. Very neat. Ooh, another VIP dining area. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> Very good idea. Very good. I was going to turn it into a conference room, but a dining area is even better. Um, very cool. Captain's mess. You know. Have lunch with me. Beverly. Oh, wait, wrong series. Jadzia. There you go. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, um, this has been the uh, Defiant tour. Uh, again, if you'd like to come onto the server and check out the Defiant, eventually it'll probably be moved into a more mainstream area where, from where it's currently located. Uh, it's a little bit of a bear to get to from the spawn point. It's quite a height. But, um,. Yeah, it's well worth it. Um, <laughs> love that intake on that shot. Look at that intake. That's so cool. But anyways, like I was saying, it's a heck of a hike, but it's well worth it. If you want to come check out the uh, the Voyager build, um, we would greatly uh, enjoy having you on the server to check it all out. Uh, again, this is the uh, Minetrack.net game server. And um, you all have a great day now. Thank you. Bye-bye.